I'm hoping that these fish are in here being deep for water. It sucks but, that we can't go or yeah. dry land where we normally catch them. Yeah. I think if we go up there, go up to we'll come across. We'll, right we'll there. come across there and we'll lay way up in there. Oh. We'll move up a little further and try getting them that way. I really need to get these carp. I did not anticipate this water being this low. Nope. Nothing in the world I couldn't imagine doing but chasing carp. Never are they just where they need to be. A lot of guys just go out fishing every day, every day, and think they're getting ahead. But the true good fishermen will catch the most amount of fish using the least amount of gear and will spend the least amount of time out on the water. It's coming around pretty nice so far. About the only place we got to fish on the whole lake with this water down, so. There's the Jewish holiday coming on. The rabbis come out here and they want to bless these carp. And I really need to get these carp. Pulling her in. She's coming in pretty good. It's pulling pretty good. That's fishing. the hell's going on out there. You're getting mud, I think. A little bit of a pinup or something out there. I can see where a couple of corks are down underwater, right at water level. I can't even pull it. Something in there, though. There it is. That's always nice. Back on Green Lake, Jed and the crew begin to pull the nets. You got your front tied off, Eddie? Thank you. It's gonna pull hard. We'll see if we can get it moving. I need to produce this stuff for, for myself and for my crew and for my family. Watch your fingers when that, if this pops off, let go. Don't try to hold it, just drop it. Just watch it in case this thing shoots. I'm not gonna get it all the way in probably. You gotta pull. Don't try to hold it, just drop it. Hey, Jed, let's make another pull. Nobody's wrote a book on seine and carp. And if they have, I'd love to read it because it ain't real. They ain't catching carp like we do. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't coming. Come easy. Yeah. How in the hell am I gonna get a rope around this? This ain't exactly a good tie job. I can't understand why you couldn't pull that in. <laughs> Try pulling it in once. Watch out, Chris. Still hung up here pretty good, but. This is the kind of stuff that always makes a day a lot longer. Zebra mussels on her. 
I'd like to at least get it out of the way for someone don't hit it with a boat when the water comes up. Water level first. Stomp. Who knows? We still got quite a bit of net to go. Maybe we'll have some fish. I got him. Pull. Dart, you pulling all right? Pulling hard now. Should have stayed in bed today. I'm afraid there's so much brush and stuff, and I don't think we can pull it by hand. I'm gonna patch scene now. Get a hold of it, you gotta patch it. Part of the game, you don't catch fish every time you fish. Any fisherman tells you he does, he's a liar. Ain't much. Except when I was hooking up to that boat, there's some days you shouldn't hook up to it. Next time we get out there, I think we'll cremate the fish. Next week, we got a date with Lake Zumbro. Revenge. It's a lot more work when you don't catch anything than when you do. The game. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't coming. I'll take one of the guys out there and push it. I learned from some of the best there were. And Judd's learned everything I've learned and more. So he's really set up to do good the rest of his life now. Got to be in between us or way over in that corner or something. You pushed it in so far as digging or something. I'd say I should thank my dad a lot more than I do. Pull him. It's coming out of the mud now. Still pulling really hard, though. Who knows if we're gonna end up with them or not. Every time the net goes out, we don't know what we're gonna get in it. You know, if we're gonna get the net back, if we're gonna catch a safe full of gold or, or what. An anchor! That's a good one, too. You know, there's always the adventure to it every time that net. You know, you just wanna see what's gonna be in it, what's there. It's exciting to me. I mean, it's, it's my life. It's shallow, so who knows how many are there? Maybe, maybe 50,000, maybe 10,000, maybe 100. So it's not a waste of day. The price of carp was the highest it's ever been in my life and my dad's life. Now, now if we can get some decent money on it, it'll be a good day. You know, anything can happen to any of us any day, so you, that's why you gotta live life to the fullest and do what you love. We love fishing, so we're lucky we get to do what we love to do. All right, everybody ready to pull? It's going. Pull hard, it'll come easy. Well, apparently there was more fish here than we thought. I gotta hand it to him. You know, it's neat for a father to watch his son do things. I'm a pretty lucky guy. Caught fish, got two trucks coming, so we're, we're good. But I tell you, the kid knows a lot, <laughs> you know. We're in a little bitty marsh in one little corner of the lake. 
We got this whole lake out here, and there's got to be carp everywhere. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the weeks to come.